In this training video, I'm going to teach you how to make a lease option offer to the seller in REI Pro. Now, the very first thing that I want you to look at is over to the top left, which is step one, and that's going to be the ARV. So remember, we ran comparable sales, and now this number is carrying over. We're also bringing in the rent value, right? Because it's a lease with option to buy. So now that we have what it could be worth in tip top shape, this is what the value is. We also have the rent value. Now we want to move into step two to actually create the offer. So as we look at step two, the very first thing is the sales price. What is that total sales price that we're going to pay the seller? Now we know that it's worth 307 and a lot of this is going to be based on what the seller is actually asking for the property. One of the great things with lease option, we can pay up to full price. Again, we're not going to make quite as much money on the sales price if we do that, though. So we'd always like to have some buffer. So if we pay the seller X dollar amount, remember, if we're staying in the middle with a new buyer, we have to charge them a little bit more. So there's a profit margin in between there. One thing to keep in mind also with the lease option that these properties are generally in pretty good shape. They are rentable. So these are not distressed properties that you have to put money into. My general rule of thumb is don't ever put a bunch of money into something you don't own. So remember, you're just controlling this property using a lease option. So in this example, let's say that the seller is willing to take 285 for the property. Now also think about if the seller listed it with an agent, there's going to be a commission paid on that. So they're not going to quite get as much for that property anyways. Next is the down payment. So if you read this, the amount of non-refundable money paid to the seller for giving you the option to purchase the property at some future time at an agreed price. So this down payment is being credited to the 285. Now, what I'd like to do is come up with a starting point. I want you to imagine if the property rents, let's just say for $2,000, generally the owner would receive a $2,000 security deposit. With a lease option, I actually like to give them a little bit more and also keep in mind that it's non-refundable, unlike a security deposit that is refundable if the tenant takes care of the property. So this is their money to keep. So I'm gonna start a little bit higher at 2,500. Now, we could we pay more? Probably, but keep in mind, our very first profit center, once we put a new buyer in, is gonna be the difference between the down payment that we pay the seller and what we're receiving from the new buyer. And as you know, more people have 5,000 than 10,000, more people have 10,000 than 20,000. So at some point, we have to make sure that these numbers work. Next is the monthly payment. Now, if I know that it rents for 2,000, and keep in mind, I'm just rounding up this 1972 we want to cash flow on this property what i don't like to do is say okay if it rents for 2000 then we're going to charge the new buyer 2300 in most cases buyers are not going to want to pay more in rent because it's just being thrown away so what we'd like to do is get that discount with the seller so in this particular case i'm going to shoot for 1700 with the seller that way i can turn around and lease it at a $2,000 and make $300 a month positive cash flow. Now, could the seller come back and say, hey, Chris, I need $1,850? Sure, you know, that's part of the negotiation. Look, as long as the numbers work and you're gonna make enough money to value the time that you have to put into this deal, make it work. Next is what we call monthly credit. So a portion of the rent each month is credited towards the sales price only if you exercise the option to buy. Generally speaking, I don't like to use a lot of monthly rent credits here, but let's just say that we put in $100 per month. So if I pay the seller on time every single month for the duration of this term, I'm going to subtract $100 off that $285 each month. So it's a benefit not only to the buyer that's living in the property that is eventually going to purchase the home, you could also tell the seller it's a benefit to the seller to get their payments on time. Otherwise, they don't receive a credit for that month. Next is the term. So how many years or months are we going to go? Now, generally, you as the middle person, you want to go as long as possible. Generally, a seller wants to go as short as possible. I really want to start off with a 24 month term, right? So again, this is going to be the length of time. Now we have the option to buy it tomorrow 
or up to the 24th month, okay? So generally, if I put a new buyer in here and I stay in the middle, I'm gonna put them on a 12 month term because if they can't buy at the end of 12 months, I still have another 12 months to do something with the property. And next is the repair threshold. What I'd like to put in here is what we call expenses, basic things that are gonna go wrong with the property while the tenant's in there and that we would be responsible up to $500 per occurrence. This way, the owner of the property is not getting a call saying, hey, come fix my light bulb or hey, the toilet's clogged. A lease option buyer needs to take ownership of the property, even though they don't own it yet. And most of them do. So they need to start taking care of the little things. Now, anything major, keep in mind, the owner still owns the property. So they're going to be responsible for taking care of those things. And that's why they have insurance. Now, if we scroll up to the lease option summary again, you could click save here just to have everything secure here. You can see the after repaired value hasn't changed 307. We're going to offer 285, the down payment, which is non-refundable and credited to the purchase price of $2,500, $1,700 a month. We're shooting for a $100 a month credit with a term of 24 months. Now, keep in mind, you're going to tell the seller of this property, look, our goal is to close this much sooner than 24 months, but you just want to allow yourself that extra time. You can see the total payments, the total credits again for 24 months. If it were to go to 24 months and the balance at the end of the term, of that 24 month period of time. So keep in mind, your down payment's gonna get credited along with any monthly credits. So you're gonna see the total paid to the seller is actually gonna be 323. 400. Now, once I have this offer, of course, you can email this offer, you can view and print this offer as well. So if I just click the attachment, you could see the lease option. If you need to attach anything else to this offer, you can as well. You can obviously view and print this offer as well. And I hope this training video helped and look forward to seeing you on the next one.